Hello and welcome to this short Kiwi Code Solutions video on bonus tools. Hi, my name is Sam and I will be running through a short demonstration on bonus tools, Navisworks to Revit. Navisworks to Revit allows you to convert a Navisworks XML report into clash points and 3D views placed on sheets within Revit for easy evaluation. This tool is available for Revit 2012 and newer versions of Revit. To run the tool, first you must have completed a Navisworks clash and exported the results and an XML file with at least the X, Y, Z coordinates, the element IDs, the clash name, assigned to, and the result status. Then navigate to the Bonus Tools tab and select Navisworks to Rivet. A dialog box will appear with three tabs, the first relating to view and sheet information, the second relating to Revit families, and the third related to shared parameters. Within the first tab you can choose whether you want to create a 3D cropped view for each clash with or without a tag and then place them on sheets and if you want the section boxes to be hidden. Note creating views and sheets for a large clash set can take a long time. If you do want sheets you can then specify the title block and the margins and spacings between each view on the sheets. The second tab is where you browse for and specify Clash XML file, the coordinate system used during export to Navisworks, the generic family and the tag. The third tab, Shared Parameters, you will see some default shared parameter GUIDs that the tool will use to push information into. You can modify these to point to your own company specific shared parameters if you wish. Note at any point you can select the Reset Settings button to reset the GUIDs and generic family paths. With all the data entered you can hit OK. A dialog will confirm the shared parameter GUIDs that were used, the clash name, the result status, the position, the element ID 1 and the element ID 2 for each clash found in the XML file, followed by the total clashes and then the sheet information if sheets were created. When complete, you can close the dialogues and view the newly created 3D views and sheets. If you go to a newly created view and select a clash point, you will notice the shared parameters are filled out with the clash name, the result status, the position, element ID 1 and element ID 2. If you go to a sheet, you will see the clashes neatly laid out. Thank you for watching this demonstration on bonus tools, Navisworks to Revit.